You told me you weren't here to conquer. You told me your people have bled enough. That's right. I don't want them bleeding for Stannis Baratheon either. The problem is um, that I have an accent, a minor uh, affectation of an accent on mine. And if you're from the south of Ireland, you would pronounce it Kieran. Everybody from Dublin would say they call him Kieran, right? Because it's an accent. But I'm from the north. They don't bother with accents up there. So I've always been called Kieran. So that's how I would say my name. My name is but then people say, oh, we, know we have to pronounce it right. And uh, I worked a lot with Conor McPherson, the playwright here. <laughs> and uh, sure. he would be calling me Kieran because he's from Dublin. Please, it would give me pleasure. I guess it's Gaelic, but it's been semi-anglified. But it comes from Gaelic. It's like we have a name. In fact, my daughter's called Aoife, but it's A-O-I-F-E. It's not just E-F-A. It's A-O-I. So then I have a, a, a cousin called Kiva, which is C-A-O-I-M-H-E. So the sound is uh, Irish. So it'd be Kiva or Aoife. There'd be a little, you know what I mean, a little diphthong in there rather than just flat. But for modern pronunciation sake, you just call as close as you can. I've been called a lot worse anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Uh, the first uh, uh, day, the read-through, so when we first met. Uh, she does know someone in Dublin who, uh, in a ma managerial sense, who I knew from the 80s, uh, who said uh, that should be all right, that I wouldn't bite her or something like that. Anyway, we get on famously. She's a powerhouse. She's an extraordinary girl. 